uh, v venus v uh, moon is placed there moon in the fifth okay moon as the 10th lord in the fifth so this is <clears throat> this is in general very good for uh, name and fame i have seen at the same time i have seen if the 10th lord and 5th lord are having some link somehow then the person has difficulty staying in one place <laughs> They probably have more issues in one profession, one job. Yes, yes, yes. So, what happened was, when she did her MBBS, which is the bachelor's, so she was very fixed. I will only go to this uh, skin, that thing, the dermatology or something like that. And we had had a long discussion, you know, <laughs> she was asking me <laughs> which stream should I choose and you know, and due to some reason I told her dermatology is good for you. And then she was, she was like, yes, I also want to go to this line. But then somehow she had to end up taking uh, radiology due to some reason. And there are multiple indications of profession in anybody's chart. So for example, now, uh, I had told you earlier that moon is in the Navamsha Lagna, that is an indication. Now, if you also check here in the birth chart, in Lagna chart, moon is in Shatavisha Nakshatra. And Shatavisha is very famous, you know, for that 100 billion. Yes. So, uh, and uh, she, <laughs> she had told me once that... Uh, although she makes mistakes in writing, you know, the prescription sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she she always tells me that her patients tell her that uh, the moment due to some reason you know she will touch them you know the patient they feel that you know uh, they have got healed <laughs> okay now she has told this that uh, this happens many many times mm -hmm. so here if you see the fifth house Aquarius quite quite average points most of the planets are quite interested in the house and Venus has the highest uh, say there. And Venus is again the Lagna Lord. Okay, So I have seen if the Lagna and the fifth are involved, then the person is, the person cannot do something which they don't like. I have seen this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so if I would have told her that, oh, why are you uh, going to Medicare, you know, become a software engineer? Then she would have told you, know, no, I can't do this. You know, I, I mean, uh, for them, uh, because the fifth house is the eight from the tenth, that is why I think uh, these people can sometimes uh, not care about their professionals. Sometimes, when it comes to things that they like, okay. So like they, they they might have a task always, you know, should I follow my passion or should I follow my profession? These kind of things can happen if the 5th and the 10th is linked. Okay. But now here because the 10th Lord is in 5th, so she is lucky what she wanted to do is like her profession. <laughs> and, but has she had many breaks like uh, in her, she's still not working, she's still studying now. Yeah? Oh uh, yeah, she she's like I mean in medical it gets very complicated sometimes. Yeah. You are studying and you are also working yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in house yeah. House. yeah, but she told me that uh, when she was in her bachelor's, she had to shift so many areas like you know like uh, she was sent to rural or something like that. Then that that thing was there. The shifting was there. And Venus is again the eighth lord here that 8th house flavor <laughs> so some 8th house flavor will always be there always right? be there. yeah so yes and this can I have seen if the 5th and the 8th are linked then um, yeah this I said in that love romance video also for Astagwarga if the 8th and the 12th lords are having contribution <laughs> to your fifth house, you know, then you are definitely uh, very much inclined towards, you know, love affairs and romance and all this. And that is a rule of KP also. Yeah? That is a rule for KP also. KP, KP rules. Uh, 
Okay, okay. And that too, you know, when planets like moon are there in your fifth house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, in my experience, I have seen if uh, there are uh, if there are natural benefits in the fifth house, it can make the person very attractive in the appearance. I have seen it many, many times. But uh, this does not necessarily indicate that the person will be too much into uh, love or you know, physical relations. It means that will only happen in the 8th and the 12th hour late with the 5th. Otherwise, it will not happen. Okay. So now let us go to the 6th house, <laughs> sign of Pisces. And here you see again, Saturn is the king here. Now, Saturn has 5 points, Mercury has 5, Moon has 5. But we have to remember, Saturn has the least amount of points in our stud work. And 5 points is too much. <clears throat> and when Saturn is contributing five points, it's like <laughs> it is like Jupiter contributing, you know, eight or you know nine. I don't know how many points, you know, because uh, he has. I mean, he hardly has points in Astagor. <laughs> and uh, there's another house. You see, two houses. You know, tenth house, eleventh house. He has. You know, Saturn has six points. So now again, Saturn has five points in the sixth house. So fourth house, fifth house, Lord has six points. You know, five points in the sixth house. So again, that link with uh, education, education and profession. Education, profession. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. So her daily. Yeah, this is work. very, very great points. Yes. So in her daily work, she must use what she learned in school, fourth house is school, and then fifth house. You know, <laughs> the MBBS. <laughs> so. Uh, if she asks me, suppose after 10 years, hey, will I ever be somebody other than a doctor? Well, I would say, well, maybe you should not be. You should be a doctor always. And uh, that's that Saturn is definitely the king here because he has the highest say because although he has five points, but and also Mercury as the ninth lord has quite uh, say yeah, he has five points. And moon again, the 10th Lord, you see. So Mercury is the 9th Lord again. So she has to keep dealing with uh, the seniors and guides. You know, that that's very much visible. And she's always dealing. And Mercury is also in the lag. And then you go to the sign of Aries. So Aries is having 24 points here. And all the planets are kind of contributing equally to this, this house. And uh, now if you see Jupiter also contributes four points here. So now I have seen that if the sixth Lord contributes uh, too many points in the seventh house, uh, this can create issues in getting married, I have seen. Now, once you get married, it's a different story because once you are married, uh, you also have to check the second house. But to get married, the event of wedding, that is very much of that seventh house factor, you know, when you sign the contract or the whatever it is. <laughs> so here, Jupiter is still contributing. And I have also seen if uh, the planets like the ninth lord has a uh, quite contribution or at times the fifth lord also then i have seen that uh, the person kind of uh, if the fifth house is involved then the person is very much obsessed with uh, love marriage i have seen <laughs> and if the ninth lord is involved then the person is a bit obsessed in marrying in the same community same caste same creed or same religion or something like that okay uh, so here, what is Mercury saying? Mercury uh, is it's not very much. Not very <laughs> so I had asked her uh, <laughs> marriage and all this, and she's like, okay, I don't have any criteria that I have to marry in the same religion or same caste or something like that. Uh, I can marry anywhere, I mean, anybody, okay. So that is a bit visible in the chart because uh, <clears throat> the ninth lot is not very much contributing. And also now ninth lord is ninth lord, but Mercury is Mercury again. So I have seen if Mercury as the lord of any house, if he contributes too much to the seventh house, <laughs> then the person is obsessed about marrying a younger spouse. Okay. And if 
<coughs> Saturn is uh, having too much contribution in the seven. Then the person may like uh, to uh, the person may have a preference to marry somebody elder. Okay. Now that that you have to use as per the skal patra and time place circumstances. You know which country, which culture the person is. You cannot just make a blind statement like this. And then if you go to the sign Taurus, Taurus again has twenty seven points. And yeah, I forgot to just say uh, regarding the seventh house. So the points in the seventh house, like many times people ask that, uh, who can help me to get married? <laughs> like, is there any way by using astrology we can know, you know, somebody can help us to get married? Okay. So, <clears throat> so in that case, we can check the nature of the planets here. So we see sun and moon are contributing and Mars as the second lord is also contributing. Okay. Mercury, the 12th lord is not very much interested. Neither the, as the ninth lord. And Venus is also mm, not much. So this person is himself not very interested to get married. <laughs> okay. And because, because the Lagna is the lord. Lagna. Yeah, because Venus is the Lagna lord. Okay. Right. So Venus is himself very not very much interested in marriage. I mean, as for this chart, <laughs> and uh, but the question is, if at all she wants to get married, uh, we have these three planets. Especially now, I will not take Jupiter here because it is the sixth lord, and sixth lord is way out of marriage. In fact, that shows <laughs> denial of marriage. So we can <laughs> take Mars. Yes, yes, we can take Mars. We can also take Sun, or we can also take Moon. Yes, Moon Mars again, also is eleventh lord. Yes, yes, yes. So, so now, son is the eleventh lord. It is also the karka for father, and eleventh lord is also the elder brother. Okay. Now, why do I say elder brother? Because she has an elder brother. <laughs> okay. So uh, I've told. The, I mean, she has not asked me about marriage and all this. So maybe if she asks me, you know, after some time, that will she be like get married or you know, how can I get married? So then I will suggest her that uh, if you have some contacts, if your elder brother knows somebody, then that can be a good option, okay, because uh, son is the 11th lord there. So these are some, but you can't still give a very definite uh, definite answer to this question because there is no, uh, there's no planet like, uh, like as we saw, no? Jupiter was contributing. Uh, to the to first house, house, like very small. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes, correct, to the first house, to Libra, seven points. So there, there is no say like this, okay? And this can also show that, um, so for example, uh, if, you know, uh, I have seen if uh, sometimes the 11th Lord is contributing more uh, points and the 9th Lord is contributing, then it can happen if these two planets are natural enemies, okay? <laughs> then I have seen there is a task, that the eleventh lord, uh, the elder brother is telling, no, no, you must marry this person. <laughs> and suppose sun is the ninth lord, and uh, Sagittarius <coughs> rising, and sun is telling, no, no, you must marry that person. Okay. Wow. Because if you take Sagittarius lagna, then Venus is the eleventh lord, and sun is the ninth lord, Hi. and they are not best of friends. We know sun and Venus. But I think so, then 11th Lord and 9th Lord are always enemies. Uh, yes, that also you can say. <laughs> yeah, so we can we can try to see now. But now in this case, you see, uh, like the planets are Sun, Moon and Mars. Okay. And they, they have a big gang there. <laughs> so this means if the elder brother is recommending somebody for the marriage to her, the uh, maybe the family and the mother father are not too much against it, it could happen well we have to check this to what extent this works so that is how you can you know get a feeling of uh, marriage and all this now uh, another thing which i said in that video was uh, if you see saturn has two points there so now i have seen if fifth lord has too many points <laughs> in contribution to the seventh house then the person is like 
no, no, I first have to meet the person, I have to fall in love, I have to, right. you know, get roses and I have to, you know, uh, go to a candlelight dinner, only then I can marry that person, otherwise I cannot. Okay. And uh, I had asked her, uh, do you feel like that? And she said, yeah, if that is there is good, but if it is not there, I'm fine with that. Okay. And uh, that means that this person is not having any uh, I would say any kind of criteria that you know, oh no, no, first we will be in a relationship and only after that we will marry. Okay, so that is clearly not there from her side. And and if you also see, Mercury has more points than Saturn, which is pretty obvious because Mercury ha may can always have more points because it has more total points. Yeah, and therefore uh, she 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 can also prefer somebody who is younger to her in age. Okay, it's not necessary that she will always want to marry somebody who is more than her in age. All right, so now let us go to Taurus. We have uh, number two here, and <clears throat> here if you see Mars has very less points. Again, that family is not interested in in-laws and <laughs> that thing. So that's what I've always seen. You know, if there are such strong <laughs> indicators that your family has never talked about your marriage from the time you are born, it will not happen with the seventh house. It, some other link has to be there. You know, eighth house has to be involved there. See? Because eighth house is your in-laws and where you go and, you know, the other family. So, very, very much least interested, you see, in the second Lord Mars. In fact, the seventh Lord is also least interested. <laughs> it's like a very peculiar situation peculiar here. Situation. Yeah, this can mean the your husband is not staying with his parents. This can also mean that. Okay. Or your husband doesn't want to stay with your parents. Your husband wants to stay separately. Okay. So this can mean that, or maybe they don't get along and they don't want to stay, or whatever it can be. Or maybe it can also mean, I mean, it can mean so many things. <laughs> and here, if you go to Taurus, uh, you will see uh, Moon again has quite high points. Jupiter is decent. Venus. And there is again this Venus. <laughs> Venus is now the kingmaker for the 8th house. Now, for uh, for the eighth house, it becomes very difficult to say sometimes what this can mean. This uh, I have seen it depends on which other areas are being affected. So, for example, if you see the fifth house here, again Venus has too many points there. Venus has you know almost like five points for Aquarius, and here Venus again has six points. So this can this. Yeah, this can make the person more inclined towards, you know, affairs or this kind of stuff. And uh, Venus itself is the 8th Lord and, you know, <laughs> the 8th Lord contributing, that means the 8th house is very much interested in each other. Yeah, it's like saying, and you yourself, the Lagnesh is very much interested. Okay. But I have seen if the 4th house were involved, then this means uh, research. Because eighth house is like that uh, darkness, you know, research is like you are getting somewhere where you don't know you will come out or not. But here, because the fifth house is involved, because of this uh, Venus giving five points to Aquarius, uh, this is not too much of that research side. This is more of you know that the other side which I, we just discussed. And apart from that, uh, this can also mean that now uh, eighth house can show some blunders at times. And if the Lagnesh is contributing too much, it can at times mean the person is a bit careless. It can mean that. And this happens with her, like uh, sometimes when she will book, book the Ola or Uber taxi, <laughs> then uh, she will end up saying, saying a wrong place. Not exactly wrong place, it's like she will give a wrong landmark. She will say, yeah, it's in front of this hotel. And I'm, I, I'm wondering, that's not where we are now. <laughs> okay, so this can make the person a bit careless, I see. And here, Eighth Lord Venus is again in debility, you see. And the Lagnesh is also in debility. Yes. So if Lagnesh is in debility or the Lagnesh is not very well supported, I have seen that. 
Now the the person can be a bit irresponsible sometimes. Okay, and these results will be more profound during the dasha of that planet, and which dasha she is currently running. In fact, I mean she is running Venus Anthar dasha. And then the last four houses are remaining. <laughs> so we have Gemini there. Gemini, oh my God, <laughs> Mars has zero points. 